All right, welcome to another Tech Talk Tuesday. And we're working on the Neon again. A couple of weeks ago, I had it out and it was like 106 degrees out and I'd driven around for about an hour and it started acting really weird and wasn't driving right and there was no power and a whole bunch of other issues. But for some reason, there was no check engine light. Uh, I went and I ran the codes and there was nothing on there per my scan tool. So I figured, well, first thing I do is replace the coil pack. So I installed a new coil pack on there because I've heard that can cause an intermittent issue. And then I decided to go ahead and plug my uh, Trinity uh, Diablo Sport tuner in and just check it to see if it should, popped up any codes that my scan tool missed. And sure enough, it did. And it showed a intermittent cam position sensor fault code. So this is the guy right here. As you can tell, this is not an OEM Mopar unit. And that's part of the problem is uh, when I bought the car, I went ahead and did a bunch of maintenance on it. And one of the things I did was replace sensors. And I didn't order a Mopar replacement sensor for the cam position sensor. It was just another uh, brand that I got from Rock Auto. And it turns out that's a bit of a problem. So the original one from Mopar that the car came with new lasted roughly like what, 14 years and was still probably fine when I removed it. Whereas this new one that I got aftermarket lasted less than three. And uh, dead giveaway is how it's made, the coloring. Um, this is definitely not a Mopar unit. Um, so I went ahead, went to my local dealership and got an actual Mopar unit to replace it with. So replacing these though, that's what we're really gonna be talking about as well, is rather simple and straightforward. So we'll go ahead and show you how that's done. Um, but in, for future reference, if you're working on an SRT4 and you need to put a cam position sensor in there, go ahead and spend the extra money and get a Mopar unit because they last a lot longer, they're higher quality. Um, this one I think was like $60 after tax and stuff. So they're not the cheapest, but they're also not super expensive. So just spend the money, get the Mopar unit. And they're really easy to get to. They're right here on the end of the head, um, next in between the battery and the engine. Uh, you're probably gonna have to pull your intake off. I went ahead and pulled mine because it just made it easier. And then it's really just two bolts that attach to the side of the head and the electrical connector. I also removed this one uh, nut on this valve cover to get this hose out of the way, just to give me a little more extra room. So I'll go ahead and button this guy up. Go ahead, and it's just two eight millimeter bolts that hold it into place. It's really easy, just goes right in here. And of course, you wanna make sure you start these by hand. Get them in there with your fingers so that way you don't strip the threads on either of those bolts because you don't wanna be stripping threads on an aluminum cylinder head. And uh, once you get those in there, you just tighten those down, pop the electrical connector back on, and then put everything back together. And it's just that easy. Two bolts and electrical connector and you're done. So this whole job, start to finish, will probably take less than 20 minutes. And uh, it's real easy to take care of. And uh, hope you found this information uh, helpful for you. And hopefully this solves my problem with the Neon. We'll go ahead and take it out later and, and see if it solves my problems. So as always, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, hit that like button. And if you wanna be kept to date up on all my future uploads, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so that way YouTube will notify you of all my uploads in the future. And as always, I will see you the next video.